Chloe, don't leave me in here with her. Edward! Look, it's been really nice meeting you, but you know, I'm having one ripper of a day, so. Don't talk to me about bad days. <laughs> listen. No. No, you listen. Hey! I don't know you. You and I have never met, and you're wreaking havoc on my life. At first, I admired Andrew's interest in your welfare. He cares about people, and I think that's wonderful. But these last few months, I have become less interested in his interests. Not only do I listen to him talk about you incessantly anytime I come over to have dinner or spend the night here, I am bombarded by you. When you come home at night, we hear your little heels clicking on the ceiling. When you go to bed, we hear you brush your teeth, talk on the phone, listen to the radio, and on certain evenings, I swear we could even hear you undress. I am not enjoying this. For the past two months, I have been under the distinct impression that anytime I spend the night here, I am actually sleeping with two people, Andrew and yourself. In fact, when you came home with Edward tonight, my first thought was, my God, the bed is already crowded enough. Now we have to fit Edward in too? Now, I don't know what went on between you and Andrew. Nothing. Nothing at all. Excuse me. But clearly, that is not the case. And I want you out of my life. Is that understood? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? I don't care. I'll find you a better apartment. It'll be my pleasure. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I'm just not up for this right now, okay? If I get mad one more time tonight, I, 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 I just might die from it. So can we, can we chill out? Do you want a cup of tea or something? Do you have anything stronger? Scotch? Is that scotch? Yes. Yes, it is. I'll have scotch. Fine. You knock that back, you'll feel much better. Thank you. That's a interesting outfit you have on. Excuse me? I guess men really do like that sort of thing, don't they? You'd like to think that some at least one or two of them were above it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. All of them are like Pavlov's dogs. You provide the right stimulus and the next thing you know, they're salivating all over you. Don't those shoes hurt? Yeah, they kind of do. You don't wear them for comfort, do you? You wear them for other reasons. And because they make your legs look amazing. And I see you are also studying law. No, I'm not studying law stole this from the library at work so I could figure out what the fuck was going on down there. Really? How remarkable. Look, could I have another? Another. Please.
God, I wish I still smoked. <laughs> you used to smoke. Two packs a day. It was disgusting. You know, you're, you're very different from what I thought. It's weird meeting you. It's just weird. Oh, really? Well, what did you think I would be like? I don't know. I mean, you're very forceful. I guess I thought you'd be more formal and polite. Maybe like Dracula or something. Oh, Edward told you that. That's where you got that. He's so awful. Ever since I dumped him, he's been telling everyone that I'm some kind of vampire. He thinks it's so witty. Wait a minute. <laughs> you, out, you went out with him too. Didn't you know that? Man, what do these two do? Like switch off girlfriends once a year or something? It's certainly starting to look that way. Wait a minute, that, that's not what I'm really. There's no need to explain. In fact, I would prefer not to know. I'm just trying is. to tell you. And what I'm trying to tell you is that what I've had with both of them is substantially more real than whatever this is. And I don't want to know about it. All right? I just want it to stop. All right? Right. As long as we understand each other. Oh, I understand you all right. This part, I think I've got down solid. Good. But what I don't have, you know, what I want to know is, if you're so fucking real, Lydia, then why the hell are you up here? I mean, if you're so much better than me, then why even bother? You could just wait it out and I'll drift away like a piece of paper, like nothing, right? Because that's what I am, nothing, right? So why the fuck are you up here taking me apart? I don't think I have to justify myself to you. Oh yeah? Well, I think you do, all of you. What an amazing fucking snow job you're doing on the world. And I bought it, we all buy it, and my family, all of a sudden, they're, they're like, I'm Mary Tyler Moore. And, and they're living in hell, right? They spent their whole lives wishing that they were somewhere else, wishing that they were rich or sober or clean, living on a street with trees and being on some fucking TV show. And I did it. I moved to Boston and I work at a law office. I'm the big success story. And I have no idea what that means. It means I get to hang around a bunch of lunatics all day. It means I get to read books that don't make any fucking sense. It means that instead of being harassed by jerks in the local bar, I get harassed by guys in suits, guys with glasses, guys who talk nice, guys with suits. And you know, you know what I have to say to all of you? Shame on you. Shame on you for thinking that you're better than the rest of us. And shame on you for being mean to me. Shame on you, Lydia. I'm sorry. I think you better go. Yes. Of course. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, Andrew postponed the wedding tonight and I'm just a little, um, my life is a little bit in shambles tonight and, it, and, I, and I know that that's no excuse. I just, I'm, I'm not myself and um, uh, please forgive me. Oh, God, wait a minute. No, you're right. I have been behaving really badly. You're right, I'm sorry. No, I'm the one, come on, I'm, I'm being a jerk. He postponed the wedding? Fuck me. I'm sorry, you, you said that earlier and it went right by me. I'm. I'm sorry, I got a bad temper and whatever. Just, just come sit down, okay? Really, I think it best if I go. Please, please don't be nice to me. I don't wanna be friends with you. Yeah, I don't wanna be your friend either. I'm just saying, like, I mean, I didn't have to like yell at you. 
I think you better finish your drink. He's probably just nervous. Weddings make boys nervous. I think it's worse than that. We haven't had sex in quite some time. <laughs> you mean none of us are getting laid? No wonder we're all so uptight. You mean you and Edward didn't? No. No? No. I swear to God, I worked on him for like four hours and I couldn't get him near the bedroom. Edward, you couldn't... Edward. You didn't have that problem, huh? As a matter of fact, never mind. He wanted it. Yes, dear. He always wants it. Well, if he wouldn't sleep with you, you must have really made an impression on him. And I know you've made an impression on Andrew. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Please, could we, could we not? I would prefer not to pretend. I'd also prefer not to talk to you about it, but I just don't know who else to talk to about it. Hey, I'm not crying. It's just, I can't talk to my family about this. They'll just gloat. They never liked Andrew. He wasn't good enough. Is that unbelievable? He's the best man I've ever met and he's not good enough for them. He doesn't make enough money and they certainly don't like his politics. Edward was the one that they liked. You can imagine. You know what my father told me when Andrew and I decided to get married? Never trust a man who thinks he can change the world. That's what he said. I don't care, really, I don't, but how can I tell them this? I always told him that he didn't understand. They just, they just don't understand. Andrew saved me. He is my best self. He makes me my best self. How, how can I tell them that they were right? They're not. No, I know. I know they're not. I, it's just, I'm confused. Yeah. Me too. You wanna dance? Excuse me? Come on, dance with me. What? It'll make you feel better. I'll lead and you can just dance. Oh, no. Come on, let, let me do this. No, I. I don't dance. No, it's not silly. It's just, it's just nice. <sighs> Haven't you ever danced with a girl before? It, it's nice. Come on. I love to dance. It's so fucking romantic, you know? It, uh, it always makes me want to have sex. Men are so dumb. They're so busy trying to get you into bed, they can't even figure that out. I mean, I'm. I'm not trying to make a pass at you. I understand. Cause you hold